In this Better Minecraft video, I'm going to be exploring everybody's favorite dimension, the Nether. Hello everybody and welcome back to Better Minecraft. Today we're going to be exploring not just the Nether, but the Better Nether. So let's hope this goes well. I have no experience at all with this modded Nether. So let's set up this enchanting area, then we're going to head over to the castle that we were at on the last video, and we're going to try to get some obsidian here, because up where the phantom spawner was, there was a bunch of obsidian, and with that, we're going to set up our enchanting table and get enough for our nether portal as well. So we're just going to go ahead and grab 14 obsidian here. We're not rich or anything, so no need for corners on the portal. And oh gosh, every time I come here, I just, oh, it does not end well for me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, not a great start, not a great start at all, but the death wasn't in the nether, so we'll, we'll just not count that one, alright? Yeah, we'll just leave that one out. Anyways, let's go ahead and decorate our basement and set the portal up, and now we're just going to go ahead and head through. I have no idea what to expect from this, but here we go. Alright, not a great spawn, we're on some kind of floating island, right over top of lava. Not the best spawn, but I see a lot of structures, so I'm going to go ahead and box in my portal. For a little bit of safety and then we're going to go ahead and check out the first structure all right so let's just go ahead and make our way down and this place is kind of kind of spooky i'm not gonna lie getting kind of bad vibes from this place but there are some weird plant things over there so go ahead and grab some of those see what they do and then just have a look around oh, oh okay th those explode point taken it's gonna go ahead and avoid those. Not really sure the purpose, like, you know, they were trying to bamboozle me, I guess. But uh, let's go ahead and make our way inside and try to find some good loot here. I'm not really sure what it'll have. There are these cool banners here, the wither, so I'm gonna go ahead and take them. They're pretty cool. And I'm just gonna grab the rest of the loot that I can find here and make my portal a bit safer. And I just wanna go around looking for new biomes. It's always really exciting going around and finding new biomes in mod packs. Now, I found this new biome here that drops magma cream when I break a few things. There's definitely a lot going on here. I'm not really sure the point of this biome, but it does look pretty cool, I guess. It is starting to light me on fire, though, so I'm just going to go ahead and get out of here. I made my way to a bastion remnant, and let's just go ahead inside and see what we can find. I want to try to get a bit of loot from here. I have a gold helmet on, so we should be good in that regard, but let's go ahead and just have a look around. Alright, so our first chest has some smoked ham in it and a diamond knife. I'm not really sure what the diamond knife does, but oh, okay, no, 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 get back, buddy, get back, get back, come on. Okay, I gotta run. He's definitely gonna beat me up. Oh, no, no, oh, come on, come on. Eat the gapple. Okay, come on. Just get out of the lava. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're out of the lava. That's good. At least we're not going to lose our stuff. Okay, definitely not a convenient place, though. Okay, let's just go ahead and see if we can try to grab our stuff safely. I know the brute and the hoglin are right there, so it might be a little bit tricky, but let's just try to navigate down and grab it. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Another one. Another one. Okay. Okay, attempt two at grabbing our stuff. I think we got it, and yep, so long, suckers. <laughs> All right, we'll just grab a little bit more loot here, and then we're just gonna get out of this place. You know, according to somebody somewhere, Bastion Remnants are one of the most dangerous structures in Minecraft, so it's not really my fault that I died. Anyways, I'm gonna start blocking over to that other structure that I found. Now, there's weird things down there. I'm not really sure what they are, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take them out before heading over, just to be safe. And yeah, that was probably a good call, seeing as they explode when I shoot them. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and start blocking over and see what that weird city is over there. Whoa, hey there, buddy. I, I don't know what that thing is. I'm just going to run back. I don't want to get hit into the lava. I don't have a fire res potion, but he could be friendly, but I just got to play it on the safe side. Sorry, man. Okay, so we made it to the city, and it's a really cool design. I mean, it's like kind of like a gold city. I'm not really sure if there's inhabitants, so I'm guessing there are, so I'm just going to start having to look around. And okay, so there's this golem thing here. It only does two hearts. That's not that bad. And it literally died in one shot. 
So I started making my way through the city, and the first building looked like some kind of library. I made my way to the upstairs of the second building, and I found this thing called a respawn statue that said it would take four glowstone to use. I made my way to what looked like the middle of the city, which had some kind of shrine thing in the middle, but I wanted to keep looking around. Over to the other side there was an enchanting area, which led me to believe there had to be some kind of inhabitants here, seeing as they had an enchanting table set up. But after a while of searching, it really seemed like the place was completely abandoned other than that golem, so I'm just going to go ahead and help myself to a lot of the things here. I'll grab some of these drawers too, because they look pretty cool. And I want to see if I can collect the respawn statue. And I can, okay, so that'll definitely come in handy in the future if I could set my spawn point at a certain location. And I'll just go ahead and grab the gold here in the middle and the fire thingy. And I went to check out one last building, and it looked like it was kind of a tower with a pretty good view of everything. Anyways, at this point it was time to continue on our journey, so I started blocking out in a different direction. I defeated this thing that kind of looked like a blaze and it dropped a blaze rod, so I wanted to make my way back to set up a brewing stand. After setting it up, I realized my fatal error. I only had one blaze rod, so I couldn't make any blaze powder, so I'd have to head back to the nether before I could get access to fire res potions. At this point, I made my way back into the nether. I grabbed some glowstone to set my spawn point. I wanted to try to find enough blaze rods so I could get my brewing going. So I dug around this treacherous biome for a while, but eventually decided it'd be easier to block over things. I was looking for another fortress to find some blaze rods. I eventually found some of this sin sin sinite ore, I, I don't know, that's a big word, which I went ahead and mined because it's the material that was in that city that I was in. I made my way over to this structure, and right across from it there was actually a blaze spawner. My armor was pretty damaged, so I determined the best course of action would be to dig under the blazes and take the chests and take a few of them out like that. So I dug under and I made my way under where the chest is. I was pretty easily able to access it. There wasn't anything crazy, but it was a decent bit of loot. At this point, I kept jumping in and out of the hole, taking out a bunch of blaze to get some blaze rods. I got a good amount and took out the spawner. This room is honestly a pretty cool room. I kind of like the idea of little rooms like this as opposed to just one being in a fortress. I went ahead and looted the rest of the room and took the banners off the wall. I got approached by another one of these guys and I came to realize they're actually like the equivalent of a wandering trader but for the nether. They traded really cool things such as totems of the undying and if you had enchanting books of certain kinds they would enchant your items for you which is actually a really cool concept. Now I wanted to explore this other building over here to see what was going on in here. It looked kind of like a temple, so I started making my way down. There were all these levers on the wall, so it was pretty obvious the place was trapped, so I started looking around for where all the traps were. I found some lava buckets in these dispensers, so I disarmed the traps and went to grab the loot. It wasn't really anything good. There was a block of gold, but nothing much. At this point, I was trying to break the spawner, but I did an absolute oopsie and accidentally hit a zombie pigman, which led to my absolute demise. I mined my way back to my stuff, which took a long, long time, but I got my stuff back and I more cautiously went down to take out the spawner this time. I then found this really weird room which had a strider spawner in it, a bunch of chests and an anvil. I didn't really know the purpose of this room, but I went ahead and looted it, grabbed the banners, broke the spawner, and then began making my way back to the overworld. Alright, we're back in the overworld. We can do some brewing now, and there's a little bit more I want to get done in the nether. I kind of have everything I need from there, but I want to try to see if there's new biomes or some structures that I haven't adventured yet. And this room is kind of like an amethyst geode, but for quartz in the nether, which honestly is pretty lit. It's a really good way to get some quartz, and it also makes noise like the amethyst geode. So I went ahead and blocked around, and swam through some lava. And I made my way to this spawner here, which was a wither skeleton spawner. When I opened the chest, there were a couple diamonds inside. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and make my way in. I'm not really too worried about it, but... Oh, oh my gosh, okay. Come on, get back, buddy. Come on. Oh, I really don't want to die. I'm really far away. Okay. I, I, I could try to gapple, I guess. That's what I'm going to try to do. I just really don't want to die. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, that's going to be a long trip back. And after blocking, and mining, and mining, and mining, I made my way back and got my stuff. And now in all honesty, my primary interest was just getting back to base. I've had enough of the nether for now, so I'm just going to go ahead and start making my way back. We're pretty far away. 
And on my way back, I encountered this really cool biome and this massive structure. Now, while I really wanted to go back, I was too tempted and I just had to go check it out. So I made my way over and every single block on the structure was completely unminable. No matter where I tried to get in, I just could not find an entrance. So for now, I'm going to have to leave the structure, but I'm going to mark down where it is and I'm definitely going to be back here in the future. I'm really interested in what's inside and every block on it is called a withered block of some kind. So I think it probably has something to do with the wither, but I'm not completely sure, but we're definitely going to find out. So let's just go ahead and make our way back to the overworld. And we have one final task that we want to accomplish before the end of this video. I want to expand the base a bit and set up a horse stable. I also want to say our farm is looking really good. We have the crops prospering and everything is going good out here. So I'm going to go ahead and first tame up a horse. So there we go. We got our horse best friends forever. So we'll just chuck a diamond horse armor saddle on it. And then we're just going to head over to try to find some resources. On our journeys, we made our way to a village which had a really cool greenhouse in it. There was also this fish tank that I found here, which would be a cool little decoration for the base. I then made my way to this really big witch hut on the outskirts of the village. I wanted to see what was inside and take out the witch if I saw them. So when I made my way in, the first chest had some potions and some slime balls. The second chest had some swiftness potions. So I took everything the witch had, took their brewing stand, and made my exit. Now I wanted to go over back to the spruce forest and grab some resources. I grabbed some string to make some leads. I started setting up a little winery I'm going to have down in the basement, and I did some terraforming so I can set up the barn. And boom. I have to say it looks pretty cool. It's a nice little cozy design. I think it adds onto the house nicely, kind of like a smaller little side building. We have this little section of the upstairs which I might use for a villager trader in the future. And down here we have our horses on leads. Overall, I have to say I really like what we made. Things could still definitely use some work around here, but for now, I think it's looking pretty good. And that's going to be everything for episode two of Better Minecraft. The next episode is going to be a lot longer as we adventure into the Twilight Forest. I want to thank everybody for watching these videos, and thank you for joining me on my journey of learning YouTube. It's a lot of fun, and I hope that I'm making improvements with every video. If you have any advice for how I could improve my channel, let me know down in the comments below. And as always, have a great day.